Hey everybody, I'm here with Adriana Stam, Chair of the World Languages Department, and she and Eli are going to help us understand a recent success we had at Congresso prior to spring break. So, start us off, for those out there that don't know what Congresso is, what is Congresso and how did we excel? So, essentially what Congresso is, is it's a three-day Spanish competition. First two days are filled with the competitions, the last day is kind of the awards day. So on the first day, we get there, we spend all afternoon practicing, and then we have impromptus, which are, we're given 15 questions right before, and we have all the months of practice and practice behind us. And basically, we pick three note cards, we go into a corner for two minutes, kind of stand there awkwardly, and then we get to pick which one we want to practice, and we do it in front of a judge, and then they score us. And then the second day, there's, for me, I, since I'm a senior, I have a senior essay. And so I did that. And then you can either choose between doing a play or doing a poem. And I did my poem, which was A Roosevelt or To Roosevelt. And it was awesome. I loved it. It was a very historical, kind of about the Monroe Doctrine and stuff I love. So I, it's, it's super awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Where, where did this take place? You can go ahead. Okay. It was in Orlando. It was, uh, I forget what the conference center is called, okay. but it's a, like International Drive, and it's an awesome area. There's tons of stuff to do while we're not competing. So that's a lot of fun. So it's a, it's a big time commitment then. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We practiced. I was with my poem. We, so for the poems, we each have a teacher advising us. Shout out to Mrs. Azell. She was a big help. She helped me with all my poem. Senora Stam also helped. And so it was pretty much once a week I was memorizing on top of school. And then you also have to practice the impromptus on your own. That's awesome. Adriana, I know we do this with a lot of different languages. There's different competitions. Why, in your opinion, are having students participate in this so important? So we offer this for Chinese, for French, and for Latin, as well as Spanish, obviously. And it's great because it's a big culminating event. It's where students are putting in the time in class or doing quizzes and tests, and then they get to go and see firsthand the culture and the enthusiasm in the entire state. They get to get together with hundreds of students that also have an interest in the language and the culture, and they get to really celebrate, and um, they get to actually put to use everything they've learned. And what's really nice is that these judges um, get to score them all on an even playing field. So the students get to see just how competent they are in their speaking skills. That's amazing. When, how long have you been studying Spanish? Um, and what drew you to the language? I've been studying Spanish since pre-K four. So pretty much all of my life I've done Spanish. And I mean, I wrote one of my college essays on this, I can talk about it a lot, but it was always just kind of like a class that I just kind of took, like my elementary school mandated it, so I just kind of took a language, it was there, and I went to this Congresso tournament, and I really kind of felt, started to feel passionate about the language, like, hey, this is something I want to pursue. I like being able to talk to people in a different language and being able to communicate and understand the culture and realize the differences that we have in this world. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the main reasons to study, you know, is to understand where other people are coming from and realize how actually quite similar we actually we are, even <laughs> if we sound or say things in a different way. Um, so is this something you're going to pursue when you go to university? Definitely. Spanish was something I kept in mind throughout all of my college process. I chose, I'm going to Georgetown officially. Congrats. Thank you. But basically, I chose their international business program because it's pretty much the top Everywhere they have, they they have programs, trips. I can go to Argentina and just intern at ranches, become a ranchero, or I can go to Spain and work under tons of different companies. And it's just, I feel like Spanish is something I want to keep in my future and keep in my future job. And so, Congresso really helped me realize that. Um, so, congratulations on the award. I understand that this is only one of two, and that mm -hmm. the other one is, is too large to bring into the studio, is that, is that the case? Pretty much. This is our Division One trophy, and Senora can help me with this. We also won for... First place out of all the schools that competed in the 4A, 5A, 6A, and 7A. 
Um, so it, it truly is a first place honor in the state. Yeah, and the other trophy is like from down to the floor up to my knees, maybe even higher. Oh gosh. So, all right, I can't hold that one very well. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, and how many students participated? We had 16 students, and a lot of recurring students come back and do it because they truly love the competition. And I get to practice with my friends over and over again. They help me with my grammar. We encourage each other. It's really a community that loves the language. That's awesome. It's always It does feel good to be part of something that is a true community. And Eli is unique because last year he competed in the play. Okay. This year he competed in the poem. So he's actually, in his time at Bowles, competed in all the categories. Oh. I've gotten to do a little bit of everything. I've seen what it's like to be in a play. It's There's a lot of little differences in between. Because in the play, you're like, you're relying on others. It's a big, like, I have to do my part. I mean, I can relate with track and running four by fours. Like, I have to do my part. I, people are relying on me. But then when I'm on, by myself, I'm like, I'm doing this for me. People don't realize it, but, you know, when you're going through middle, high school, even lower school, it's all about the doors that are going to be open down the road. And so I'm glad that you found this passion. I know that Senior, senior Stam is. Um, it warms our heart to see you jumping in. And I know that you're just one of many of the Bowl students that are participating in this. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you for taking the time to come in and give us a little bit more information. And thanks to everybody out there for all that you do. Mm -hmm.